Today, when you talk about renewable energy, the mind runs to solar panels, solar street lights. But it's a lot more than that. It is for us a way of life. Look at our rural populace, who are even more in number than the urban dwellers. We all know the energy crisis and the problems that urban dwellers go through empowering their homes. Not to talk about people in our rural parts who should even be of more concern to us. And yet, investments come in in hundreds and billions of Naira and foreign currencies. And then we are trying to chart a clear pathway to have a codified approach to developing the sector. Yet, even the Minister of Power, who should be the first to applaud this initiative and support it, neither made a presentation nor an appearance on this first day of this two-day public hearing. The minister is not alone. Others that, like the National Agency for Science and Engineering Infrastructure, NACENI, Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, Federal Ministry of Finance, Nigerian Sovereign Investment Authority, Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board, the Niger Delta Power Holding Company, Ministry of Petroleum Resources, Gas, Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security, the Niger Delta Development Commission, Federal Ministry of Budget and Economic Planning, Federal Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation, Office of the Accountant General of the Federation, Federal Ministry of Environment and Ecological Management, the Auditor General of the Federation's Office, the Ministry of Marine and Blue Economy. Like the committee observed, renewable energy projects are scattered across diverse MDAs. And the only way we can make progress is to know what has happened since 2015 to date. But let me also say that this committee cannot be frustrated. Indeed, the House of Representatives, which is the People's House, is determined to get to the roots of this investigation. We have a clear mandate, and nobody will stop us from getting the appropriate information with which to do our job. We didn't write the Constitution, even though our forebears did. But as a parliament, the Constitution is sacrosanct. It's the grand norm upon which every person, institution, and authority in Nigeria must bow. Sections 88 and 89 of the Constitution are quite clear. We will advise the erring MDAs to take today to study those provisions. I hope they will not force this committee to go the route of invoking those provisions of the Constitution on them. Commission. If you have any questions, comments, contributions, Um, my question is around uh, 2018. There's a $15 million uh, grant for the development of small-scale biogas plants using waste from agriculture for rural power generation. I don't know if you know about that project and whether you can speak about that project and what, what the current status is. Any business to do with this project? 
And because it's actually a project of rural power generation, I mean, it is clear the agency that will be implementing this. And I want to state here that um, the REA maybe may be able to answer this. REA used to be a subset of the Energy Commission uh, before the agency was created in 2006. It's not about so. And this is really what we do when there were departments in the Energy Commission. So I'm sure the, uh, the MD REA will be able to answer this question precisely. I, I don't take it, uh, I take it with the exception, because you said you are the only uh, chief executive that chose to be here. No, I, I take exception to that, please. Uh, you said you have not received any, and I think uh, the only way to find out is uh, if you provide us with all your statements of accounts make sure that certain money that relate to that did not enter your organization. So I demand that we have those statements of accounts. Thank you. And uh, Honorable Larry, are you moving that as a motion? If you are doing please move it properly. The Energy Commission should provide us the full statements of account for us to verify whether uh, the have received this grant or not, as some of Between the time where, yes, time given for the investigation. Second, those in support of this motion say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The aye is obvious. Second, everybody supports the, now you have a, a contrary, Motion. <laughs> Mr. Chairman of Queen of Federal Constituency, I hereby second the motion moved by my colleague that this document should be submitted in 24 hours. That the documents be provided within 24 hours, say I. Those again say no. Well, the eyes have it. Well, that motion moved, seconded, and passed. Uh, Lies with the clerk of the committee, and uh, we we'll take it from there. Any other contributions on energy? energy in Nigeria. And if you have not received any of the, uh, is there any roadmap or consultancy services that have been covered by the agency since 20, between 1920 to 2008 concerning how to energy or related issues since then? Concerning renewable energy, you have the floor. Making a comment on the timeline given for the account. So the energy of the Energy Commission of Nigeria does not keep its own account. So the account of general and the account, all the accounts are actually domiciled in CDN. So what we do is we do our cash management and money comes, which is based on the appropriation we get from here. So we really don't have control over the account. I don't have access to the account. I can write to CDN, I write to account of general to please give us statements of that. So it's not domiciled with the agency. So I hope will get a response in 24 hours. But that won't be energy commission thing. It's not a personal account that I go to bank or I can download. So, so what we do is to manage the books only. So any to do with payment or spending is directly from the federation account, it's directly from account general's office. So we don't have control over that. And that's because we don't we are not a revenue generated agency. And maybe because we don't also receive any grants that has to be paid directly to our account, because we only spend what is been appropriated to the commission. Yes, so um, whether we've had any roadmap, part of our function as uh, a commission is to develop strategic documents. So renewable energy is part of it. Like I said, renewable energy, the REA that is now managing the um, 
renewable energy sector in rural area used to be a subset in energy condition. So we have Department of Renewable Energy. So what we do is we develop strategic documents like the roadmap we talked about. The first roadmap for renewable energy was developed by Energy Commission. So we have a roadmap for it. And we are also trying to see if we can develop a separate policy for renewable energy in the country, which we have a committee working on. So we have, all we do is just to the strategic documentation, not really implementation of uh, projects. So when we do these policies, we we'll send it to the stakeholders to implement. That's what we do. So we have those documents. We have a few documents with some development partners like IRENA. We've developed some roadmap in Nigeria to see how we can integrate renewable energy into our grid and also improve our mini grid system. So we have that in the system. Um, you said, what do we actually do in the commission side? So we are serving the responsibility of strategic coordination and planning of energy policies in order to amplification. That's just our function. But what we do doing so, we advise the president on um, areas of energy like um, oil and gas, electricity, you know, production. So it's part of our function. In fact, the DG serve as, as an advisor to the president on energy. We also collect data, analyze it, make sense out of it, and predict what the future should be, and advise the president whether we should actually embrace a particular source of energy or what does our energy mix needs in the present day. So those are things we do in the commission. Okay, and from from your vantage position, first, we have been monitoring to see the implementation of the roadmap we developed. And part of the you know strides that we've achieved so far is um, you know the recent electricity uh, act that has um, incorporated 10% of you know electricity generation from uh, renewable energy appropriation, like I said. So and um, you know time to time, the budget office and the national assembly uh, you know usually appropriate some you know. Do the fight for the budget office to give you capital votes for contracts when you are supposed to be dealing with just policy. Okay, so be, because we are under the, um, like I said, I've been supervised by the uh, Minister of Innovation, Science and Tech, that's one. Then our act also, uh, you know, gave us the statutory, you know, obligation to ensure sustainable energy generate, uh, you know, development. So for that, we have to implement. There are some strategic projects. No, my question is, given the whole gamut of what you've told us regarding yeah. the mandate yeah. of your commission, would it be right to also give you capital votes to award contracts? Oh, yes, because I've not, I've not stated all our, we have like 100 functions within the act. So I gave you just the main mandate is what we do. If I'm to tell you what energy commission, like I said, all the energy sectors you see actually came out of the commission. And that act No, when we were so talking about policy, you didn't limit it to just renewables. We were talking about the sector. All it was all in it. Yeah. Yes. So you made it look like you are just all out about policy, policy, policy. Which is okay. Then we have other agencies. So could it be duplication, for instance? Could it also be why we can't even keep track of what we have in terms of renewable energy? Say, for instance, solar street lights. Almost every agency in Nigeria awards contracts for solar street lights. But we can't even keep track where and where has been covered. Do you think that this is part of the problem? So. Um, for the commission research centers on that, and because of that strategic advantage, we conduct research on energy matters. So what we, our strengths are is also to localize and domesticate technologies that concern energy, renewable energy. So if you look at the capital projects that usually come to the commission, is basically to localize the technology development of solar PV system, green hydrogen, so the evolving technology. So we don't use... What are those centers? So, so there are those centers. Can you name them? Yes. So we, the first center is one in Isuka. 
Go to the center. Center for what? The energy centers. Energy research. Are they renewable energy related or not? Yes. They are renewable energy. Some are renewable energy related, some are not. So are what centers the, are you? No, those those centers are still under this committee. There is not so every center that is actually renewable energy. Some are still energy centers that don't How many renewable energy, energy centers do you have? You can leverage on your staff. You you don't have to know everything. You can yes. leverage on them, no problem. So like I said earlier, renewable energy is a margin, obviously a margin energy. So centers research on new energy systems. So it is just natural that we And those centers more. don't get any kind of uh, grants? They are, are they also all on the, they, 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 we try to centralize. They the don't get the, any kind of grants? If they get a grant, that would be from the university. So this, because there is- And you can keep itself. track of what they do? We do. They and do we are talking them. about being centralized. Yes. So, the, so you get centralized grants, which you give some to these we centers. Don't receive, if the center is receiving a grant, we won't call it energy commission grants. Because some grants come directly to the university because they are the host. No, I'm, I'm interested in the said centralized grants that they don't get, but except the university, but that you have centralized no, 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 grants. No, no, I didn't say we have centralized grants. So what I'm saying is everything we have the, these exchanges are maybe, recorded. Yeah, maybe. So we've not received any grants as a commission. So if there's any grant to the university, I wouldn't be in control of that. And it's possible that the university will receive a grant and the center will have to implement, maybe based on their expertise. So that won't be energy. Honorable colleagues, uh, this is a weird system. Uh, synthesize it in a way that if there are various centers that are entitled to grants or have received grants, to be able to mention it. If there's a central grant, let us know. If there's no grant, let it be said in black and white. There's no grant, and we have it in black and white so that we'll be able to confirm it and relate it in going forward. Everybody is interested in renewable energy because that's where the world is going to, and we're here to help you. Thank you, sir. Or are your engagements covered in your budgetary allocations, or do IRENA bring some form of support for, like, I don't know, capacity building workshops, etc., for some of your uh, staff, etc. So I wanted you to shed more light on that. Well, our relationship with um, budgetary and uh, capacity building, and also they help to. I hope it's not an energy issue, and he said yes, it's not. It's a technical pitch. So, the IRENA, our relationship with them, it's um, so they 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 have to fund some of stakeholders' consultation we have in areas of renewable energy, and they also have to be just, just a minute. The uh, functions of the commission that's part five. Uh, I can try to solve the uh, uh, F, I believe. I. Yes, I. One of the functions is uh, to liaise with uh, all international organizations in energy matters, such as uh, the International Atomic Energy Agency, World Energy Conference, and other similar organizations. We don't know uh, the depth of the ingress of your liaison with them. And then I think, Mr. Chairman, at this point, I think we should move the motion to put him on, a, or rather, it's a duty of the House to put him on the oath so that whatever he's saying here, yeah, uh, we can have it as, uh, as evidence as we move forward. Please. I so move, Mr. Chairman. There's no written. A document to which he is speaking. Does anybody want to second who a seconder for this motion? Yeah. I think you mentioned. Ah, okay. 
<laughs> because you are faster than his. So, <laughs> so I, Mustafa Abdullahi, do you solemnly swear? Do you solemnly swear? Now the evidence I shall give before the committee. It's okay, it's okay. But the evidence I shall give before this committee. That the evidence I shall give before this committee. And all the documents I will present before the committee. And the documents I will be presenting before the committee. Shall be the truth. Shall be the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. Yeah. To see that we bring advancements in area of energy in the country, particularly for Irena, we have had several stakeholders consultation where they fund, and um, the roadmap, renewable energy roadmap that I talked about earlier, which is the first document for renewable energy in the country, was actually funded and developed by them. Obviously, it's a collaborative effort uh, between the Energy Commission and Irena. Uh, that was in 2022, 2022, right? Do we have Irena? 20... 2022, yes. Yes, yes. But well, it's like I said, basically just to develop that uh, there was no transaction. You know, what they do is they pay consultants to do this work. The Energy Commission do not have. Hello? <laughs> Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman. So I could as well allow step out and allow my SLA to no, take charge. No, sir, so he you thinks we are joking here. No, sir, I'm just waiting for you to conclude. You just uh, what, what do you mean you are waiting for me to conclude? What time were you even giving for this hearing? I think that I, I think that is becoming a norm to just take people for granted. We have a recess from plenary. Doesn't mean we are not working. And then we sit here since morning. You come in late. That is not even enough. And then you decide to walk away whenever you like. So I mean, it's coming and up, when sir. any decision is taken, the first thing is to shout winch hunt. But you are first winching yourself. Some okay. people gather here. Different stakeholders, even the media, they have other assignments. But they were here because a time frame was given. And then, well, let's hear what you want to say. Sure. Thank you. We want to appreciate those that are keen. But Mr. Chairman, this is a very serious matter. In the light that we want to ensure that every grant or loan that was secure in the course of providing renewable alternative for electricity that is properly utilized in Nigeria. In the last of time, Mr. Chairman and distinguished colleagues, I have a move that all agencies, ministries, that are meant to appear today that are not sure of, I have a move that they, be, uh, they appear tomorrow at 1 o'clock, the same time for this public hearing, I say no. Do representing the Shenandoah Federal Constituency at the state. I hereby second the motion moved by my colleague that those agencies, MBAs, ministries, and predecessors that were asked to appear today are going to appear, that they must unwillingly appear tomorrow. I hereby second. Thank you. Finds it very distasteful that. A sector like renewable energy, which the world is heading towards, with several countries already embracing renewable energy technologies over the last five decades or more, and we just trying to catch in, especially given the effects of fossil fuel and all of that on our environment, and then the costs associated, knowing that renewables offer us 